the Ermineer and you'll see there's a little bit of a change here. I'm streaming to not just Mixer but also YouTube and Twitch. My reason? Hold on.
Okay. There we go, all things set. I've been streaming this game for some time already on um, other on my on my mixer. I mainly will stream there, but for those who are still following me on YouTube or Twitch, um, I'm, go join the mixer if you want to. I could continue restreaming, but if I ever want to partner up with mix on mixer, then I cannot do. Uh, then I have to. Um, that I won't be able to do this anymore. This is really just a test to see if this changes anything. This is one of my favorite games out there, so let's play. Why are you all over here? I don't actually need it. This will work, I hope. Stay working. Game messed up? No, it didn't. Did it? Oh shoot, it might have. It's not putting on this on my. Hold on. Fix this before I do anything else. Why it's not appearing? Why do you keep going over here, dog? Gone it. Okay. I don't know why it's not appearing on screen. I've already done I've done this once I've had this I And of course, the game's still being a complete and utter butt. Something's being a butt. I don't know what's going on. Never done this before.
Are you kidding me? Hold on. Working for me today. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. Work. I'm going time. Sorry about the issues. Doesn't work again. I will switch to a different game.
Okay. I want to try it a different way. That's the same. It works this way. Nope, game does not work. My goodness, why? I don't know. Test, try one more thing, then I'm changing to a different game. I do not know why it's doing this. Sorry. I did say this was a test stream. Okay, what the? Work this time, just the same as last time. A new game, which hopefully will work. And it did not work. My goodness, I don't know why. Don't know why. I'm going to put it back on bureau back mode. And I'll be right back. I'm going in.
stars Get it together You might can't sleep when you let it serve I know you wanna see me fall From a cold to my I can see you at the call Think about it, ring will tell you what I saw When you break it up, you'll see who had it all for the trouble. Um, for some reason, Dot had to lost recode, less recode wouldn't play. So we're playing this instead, which is still which is still pretty cool. I never played a Sherlock Holmes games. Let's make sure the options are turned. The video stuff is good. Last game I had to move some stuff around on this. Dot had recode because it's an older game. It kind of had some things that need to turn down. I don't know why. Also, if I if you hear me talking to someone in the background, I'm, ta I'm on Discord right now. All right, I can learn to play as the game plays. Let's begin the game. Is that Russian? In uh, Ukrainian Heavenly Hundred, I guess. Never heard of this company. It's working at least so far. Hold on. Uh, if I could. Hold on. I can't turn on uh how do i i'm pressing the windows button but nothing's happening i can't go to my other screen still do this i guess i gotta wait until i don't care google i have this restream thing 
um, that I have, have, but I haven't really, it's kind of off at the moment, or not off, but, this is actually pretty cool. Holmes, will you stop that? Oh, wait, I, wait, am I, am I, um, what's his name? Uh, am I Watson? Was that Sherlock Stop shooting home. the gun? Yes, it was. Is that you, Watson? And I was Watson. Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? The vases? Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Could just be the whole res restream thing, but I don't know. Ah, Lestrade. There's also what YouTube as time? well. They can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter. Has That's been what murdered. I'm probably going to do. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious, yeah, I guess I gotta wait till it's done talking before anything else. success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. Uh, 2014. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. How old does Give it look? Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The merry men struck again. What oh. have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should have Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. Maybe. I shall go alone then. I like the voice acting. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, hold on. I, I can't, um, I can't go to the, to my other screen. The one with my OBS. I, I can't, I, that means I can't end the stream if I wanted to. What the world? I, well, I, do, I think I do, but I can't remember it. It might be... I don't want to press it because the stream's already going. And, and, um, uh, this is in Epic, by the way, so it doesn't have a thing. Okay. Let's look through this then. Oh, hello. Uh, bye bye. I like the game's looks actually. Uh, is there a way I can? This isn't what I wanted, but so there's a first-person view. Okay. If I could, if it would let me. Ah, uh, I gotta look this up for a second. I don't know why it's not doing it. Because I want to be able to look at everything. Because I have Restream Cat on my, on my, in my taskbar. That allows me to see all the things at once. Might just have to use my phone if this is the case. And I have to end the stream, in the game itself and do in the stream. And then in the stream. That's fine. But now I can't mess with, um, audio. Well, 
What did I say this name was called? Crime and Punishment. Actually, wait, hold on. Let's see what game what was this on? Uh, uh, this was on the PS3. It was on Microsoft, it was on Windows, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. Oh. I might have to end the game for a second to mess with this. Or not, I don't know. Um, whenever you look, listen to the stream, do you hear yourself at all? Okay, good. Um, that means I don't have it turned on then, because this is one of those games that I, I typically play up, uh, play with my own, play alone in a sense. I still talk to people like you and others, but this is also some trouble. This is also a bit troublesome because I don't have the stinking restream thing on. The game itself was causing some trouble, or no earlier game when I was trying to get the game and all started. The, first, the one before, Streamlabs kept going behind it instead of staying on the other screen and kept moving around and stuff, and I do not know why. Oh, ow, my ears. No, no, I think you're fine. Uh, I just gotta... I, and I, also, I actually could have done it on the... Um, this will be troublesome to know... To see what people say, because I can't really see anything. Oh well. Oh, Hello. what a mess! What a terrible mess! The quality is not bad in the game, at least, um, at least to some extent. You go. You go along to Peter Kerr's house, Mrs. Hudson. Oh. I'm going to Woodman's Lee. I am not finished here. Oh, uh. Oh well. Makeup table? Oh, I can make some hats. Oh, I can't do some do some of that. Dock on it. I do this. Some makeup options not available at the moment. Okay, that's fine. I can't wear the um, glasses apparently because I don't have them yet. I can't wear this hat. I think I'm ready to go. I don't know if I want this in... My room, I don't think. Come on. Off to Woodman's Lee. Or... Yeah, 
Then you gotta investigate the murder of Peter Carey. Start the crime scene at Woodman's Lee. Black Peter. Is there a restream app for the phone? That would be something good. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. I could look at it through my phone, though. The app online. Sorry, I'm not prepared. I was kind of prepared. Well, no, not really. Okay, I'm going back. I'm going to. Oh, right, I wasn't. I forgot I wasn't third person. First person. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Mr. Talk, Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Mr. Holmes? Just want the dog on. We go. There we go. That works. Now I got um. That works. I have it on my phone. It seems that the garden was well maintained. A lot of games do do use this button presume. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Anything unusual that my that night? Yeah, that's. Uh... Ooh, let's see. Cameo? Who by that? Oh, that must be the pill. Okay. Pretty young. Anything else? Gloves. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Uh... Hello? Thank you, madam. All right, then. I like the way the screen looks. Yeah, also, I hope it has some good, um, detective, detective in there. Searching and learning and investigation. It's all good. Nice. 
sand. I think. Oh no, it's just a... Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Good boys. The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. Okay, cool. Let's examine. Let's investigate. What? These scratches are fresh. Okay. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Now, a mysterious visitor came here last night. Looks a bit well, weird. He's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. Possibly. Let's go. Visit, let's go look at the body. What a terrible way to die. I think I might stick to Mixer next time. I'm not going to restream tomorrow. I'm just going to do a regular Mixer stream. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Why? This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. voice meter potato and all that. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a whaling harpoon. Yes, but why? A sea knife? This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. I know that, but is there anything... About that. This wooden handle is oh. plain and no, solid. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Okay, then. I'm guessing this is important. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Probably. J.H.N. Oh, come on. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. Hmm. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Ugh. Carey. There nothing else here? Yep. Oh. Here we go. What is These this? These abbreviations mean something, but what? No. Oh. Find a pair of related clues in before abduction. Red color signifies. Okay.
Interesting. Oh. Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Okay, we you know. Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. That not okay. If I see the murder, be me, 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 me. See what else we can learn. Someone drank from this glass recently. Someone drank from this glass yes. recently. Rum, a sailor's drink. It seemed that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Yes. But I didn't know this was a thing. Hmm. This aroma is familiar. But to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. Okay. How do I... Oh, here, oh yeah, okay, I'm silly. It's a leaf. Okay, that works, kind of. That's a bit too few. I don't really know what to do with this. I could skip it, but I... I'm close. No, actually. Okay, that's, I think that's it, right there. I gotta figure out what it is.
Wolves. Yeah, I'm close. This! Yes. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. There you go. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. All right. Old navigation instruments, nothing interesting. Peter carries boots. They look to be a size eight. Oh, that's about my size. Okay. Wait, chest controls? The murder weapon was probably taken from this rack. Well, it does so. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches. This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. An object was taken from here. It was larger than a book, a box or a small chest, perhaps. Mm. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. Okay, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I'm just, I just had to go to the restroom. I didn't get it. I was going to get a drink, but I didn't get it. Oh well. Hold on. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. I was. My scissor stand was not saying a map. Hammerfest. Okay, that's all. That probably wasn't very important. Okay, then. Well, Mr. Holmes. What do you think? Now, I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. Oof. You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. Ugh. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. All right. I think I'll try and end the stream at about 8.30. You solve because I want to... I'm going to get rid of this game. It's not a bad game, but the fact that I can't access certain things while playing it is a bit... is a tad annoying. And also, I need more room for another game. What was I doing? Okay then. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin near the window. Okay then. Can I get over there? I guess. Yes, I can. Okay then. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Alright, I guess we're going straight into it. Hello? Shh. Did you hear that? Starting to break in. There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. All right, then. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? And what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey, but we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... it's a terrible mistake! Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. 
Some of the case book. So or Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, oh, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. All right, then. Mr. Holmes? Same voice per person, I see. These are the suspect's belongings. A pocket knife. Mm. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something, but what? A handkerchief with the initials J-H-N. No, there's none on there. Wait, hold on, what? These are the suspect's belongings. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. are the suspect's belongings. A handkerchief with the initials J-H-N. What, what John's middle name is. I don't know if you ever... These are the suspect's belongings. Oh, I keep going back and back. Uh, let me look at the... Yep, 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 yep. It's right here. John Hope Lee Nelligan. These are the suspect's belongings. So this is his. Chief, with the initials J-H-N. Oh, he should be patient, I guess. But I think, I'm pretty sure that it's his. At least for now. I'll... The more, I believe, right? Locked. Boy, why are you wearing? I didn't even notice you wearing purple. It's not really relevant, but. Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find it? I did not know. I, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Oh, no. I beg you, I can't. <coughs> if I told you, it would only make things worse. But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, 
Did Mr. Carey try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Okay. What's next? Okay. Got his portrait. Well, I will see you soon, young man. Please let me go. I'm innocent. Okay. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy to oblige. These are the suspect's belongings. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.N. Let's open the directions again. <sighs> All right, where is my dear bud? Hello, bub. A spot of whaling, Watson. Would you care to take part? Are you serious? No. But we do need to clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. A reenactment, then? Is something bothering you? The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. I don't quite follow you. Tell me, my friend, what is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before, on the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throats? No. Thank goodness for that. I wish to impale one with a harpoon. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh Watson, my, what? Let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. 
And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. I need to take a harpoon with me. Going right to right back to Woodlands. Okay. I had no reason to come up here. Not to come up here specifically. for the experiment. I'm right to White Shark, White Shark, whatever it's called. Five nights, five nights only, five nights, five nights only. Uh, why? Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be dangerous. I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Am I doing this? Holmes, you should aim for the mark Same. in order to perform the most reliable test. Holmes, I can't believe it. Did you just miss? There we go. Second try, baby. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. All right. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please hurry. Oh, well, it's only two of them. It's only been two. I've only, I've only done it. Well, no, it's the same one, I think. That's an interesting little thing you can do. You can guess on either one. Cyborg. I'll just take that as a guess. I'll guess with that one for now. I'll modify it 
If I can, I think I can. Uh, B. Yeah, I can click it. It says the name of the character, the guy. All right, back here. I already. Op I don't need to look at it again. I already looked at it before we left. doing here I've done nothing wrong locked hello okay um, I have a query f I have a bit of a query for you um, do you, what do you think is more plausible? That, um, two men were able to pierce a man's chest with a harpoon all the way through a wall. Um, feet of okay, there's two options. Feet of strength and lucky throw. Right now, I don't know which one I should go for. Locked. Yeah, um... Well, well, we're talking... These are the suspect's belongings. I'm looking at, um... Uh... Crud. Okay, B. I'm just trying to figure out whether, uh, whether or not it makes sense that a man, that a man like the guy we have locked up would be capable of doing what we're doing. Or if he was the killer or not. Maybe you should go back to Woodman Lee. Maybe, we'll see. Basically, a man got killed by being harpooned through the chest. His name was Black Peter. Or, well, his real name's Bl Peter Carey, but. He, that was a nickname. Well, there's also another fact, a few other things. Um, he had a knife, apparent, um, what we know, we don't know for sure. A knife on the ground that was covered in a little bit of his blood but it was um some of us like some of the people assume that he was carrying it to protect himself or someone it's there's 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 some details that I don't really know okay I'm gonna look at the there we go oh wow He's 19 years old. I thought he was younger. But after the desertion of his father, he and his family left, went, fell into poverty. Okay, so... So, I guess lucky throw might be the only option, really. If we assume... If we assume that Nella get, or John is the one who actually did it, then it would make sense for it to be a lucky throw. Because he is physically weak. Is everything going on right down where you're at, Cyborg? Well, I can't, if I wanted to, I can't mess with it, sadly. Um. Hmm. 
I can, yeah. Yeah, I can't hear him. Uh. Invite to what? Oh, okay. Interrogate suspect at Scotland Yard. I already interrogated him. I don't really know what else to do for him. Okay, I I can still hear you. I don't have a point of going to the butcher again, so... Because we already st we already did a little bit of an experiment where I had to throw a, a wailing spear into a, pig, a a dead pig. Hello. Hello. Yes. Arpen throwing experiment. Watson. And these are completed. Investigate the murder of Peter Carey. I guess that doesn't really end until I figure out who killed him or what or if he how he was killed. I already Peter Carey the... was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his It's murder. called Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment. Oh! I didn't look at that like that. Oh, I feel so stupid. I didn't look at his clothes. There, um, I came back to the dead body, and apparently there was another, uh, another, um, clickable thing on him, and it, it was, um, it was his clothes. Okay. He was 55, he was 50 years of age, he was dairy, so apparently he was also a sea, a seaman, or, or something. What? Okay, so I... Ah, wrong button. Let's see if there's anything else I can look at him. Peter I looked there. No. This man is in his fi Peter Carey was in... I know he was impaled by a watering... I know he was impaled by a... Wailing harpoon. Radical. What? Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. <laughs> okay, I wonder if I can find the box anywhere. Whoa, that is a big mouth. Mouth. There's a bit, um, the guy was a, wh he, a whaler. He was a part of a whaling thing called the Unicorn, I think. Well, he has whaling spears on his wall, so yeah. And he was stabbed by one. Okay, activate the T button, whatever that does. I hope they explain that soon. Can I talk, can I talk to, the, to the wife again? Let's see. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a lot of options here now. Anything unusual that night? Go f Madam, all the way. Can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time. One of three, yeah. I, I just... I don't know. He was all apparent. He was apparently well dressed as well in the game itself. He's actually pretty well dressed. He wasn't. I don't think he. I don't know if he was surprised or not. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? I don't know. In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open. Wait! 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 I thought the door was locked. That's confusing me. That's confusing me. 
Was I your tried... husband accustomed to receiving visitors? I don't know. Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. I wish I could have this audio of being heard to your thing, but I can't get off the game! I literally can't get off the game! I do it all the time, but I can't with this game for some reason. I... I'm not gonna do restream again for a long time. I'm gonna stick with Mixer. Ah, so you're Crimson Stone, I see. Okay, is there stone red? I see. Is this your husband's tobacco pouch? I'm not sure. It might be, but he hadn't smoked in a very long time. The smoke. Okay. If he hasn't smoked, he hasn't. Sorry, what? The garden is very large and well maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Oh, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Ooh. So f he's a well. A uh, bit. The mur the victim was a was the one who basically ran the unicorn, or a ship that apparently went on whalings or whatever. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, I don't know. Got drunk in the <laughs> it's is that they, those exist in the eighteen hundreds, right? And he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Your husband's private papers. Do you know where they are? There was a small tin box, barely larger than a book. This was a twenty fourteen game on the PS three, Xbox, Xbox cabin. One, Xbox three sixty, and Xbox One. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you, soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he? When you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Plymouth? Oh, yes, but how do you know about that? Is Plymouth- is it called Plymouth or Plymouth? Oh, oh! Choose the of an Oakland. Ah! I don't know which one is Plymouth. Okay, hold on. I gotta figure this out. I wasn't paying attention. Shoot. Where did it get mentioned about Plymouth? Wait a second. Wait a second. KHN. Oh no, is the kid is the kid a victim himself? Oh. His name, his own initials are in the book, apparently. The garden and fields, no, um, your carry, blah, 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 whale hunting in Scandinavia, retwi retired in 1884, eventually moving to Woodman's Lee. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot you heard me say that. Oh, good. Um, well, yeah, in a sense, compared to others, yes. I know I've been called. I think I'm pretty sure I, I've been called a kid before. At this point, it's eighteen eighty. I don't know. Nope, that doesn't tell me anything about Plymouth. Does this tell me anything about Plymouth? No, it does not. Uh, ship logs, years 1878 to 1884. Stat shell, no doubt they contain whale and seal hunting expedition reports of Black Peter. Huh? Is it pl oh I, I I should not have I should have been paying attention to what it said
a little bit, and I didn't even notice, but you're fine, but I forgot, I just, wait, 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 St. James Way Pilgrimage, does that involve Pil Plymouth, going to Plymouth or something? I don't know, let me look it up. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, what is the Camino de Santiago? Uh, I don't see Plymouth or anything on Plymouth. What is Plymouth? I mean, where is Plymouth? Not what is Plymouth. Well, I'm trying to figure out if it was mentioned in the... Because, um, I missed... How do I know about Plymouth? Um, it's pronounced... It's spelled Plymouth, but it's pronounced Plymouth, apparently, here. Profile of the victim, pilgrimage, well-kept garden, plot outlining the dust, tobacco pouch... Wait a second. Did I say tobacco? Tobacco. Tobacco. Taba tobacco. <laughs> a tobacco pouch made from seal skin, which was the on the table out inside Peter's cabin. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't tell me anything about um Plymouth. Uh nope. 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 Wait. Profile of victim, pilgrimage, welcome garden, outline in the dust. I don't know. Pilgrimage might be the only thing close. You undertook a pilgrimage to the cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is. Oh, I'm, okay, awesome. I believe that you. So I got it right. Who was the pilgrimage? There, and you married him soon afterwards. Or at least I hope so. Indeed, what happened, Mr. Holmes? How extraordinary! Yes. Thank you, madam. Spain or to Spain from Eng or f in England to Spain. I don't know. I think it's a, it's to get to Spain, but it winds up going there. Uh, what was the point of me asking that information? I don't know. Uh, imagine belong examine the belongings of John Holy. I already looked at his belong. Oh wait, I already looked at his belongings. When I have to, expect I have to do a lot of things here. <laughs> There's a lot I gotta do. I am a detective of some. I am um, Holmes, so I am Sherlock Holmes. That doesn't sound like him at all. I'm. Per I don't know. I don't remember half of the ones that exist because I know there was there has been so a lot. The sea unicorn. Um, the sea unicorn. Oh yeah, he was one once. Peter Carey commanded. I forgot about that. There is a little sperm teeth, whale tooth. Sperm whale. Teeth. Probably from one of Peter. Car I don't care about sperm whale teeth. Hmm. The ship's logs of the sea unicorn for the year. I looked at this. 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. I don't know what it. Wait, is it bringing that up here for a reason? I can The T, but the T option winds up coming up. Is there something around here I need to look for? Things coming up. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, what's this? This place is not covered with dust, like the rest of the shelf. And all you guys what listening to here, it was larger than a book, a box, or a small chest, perhaps.
Oh, there's two things I can do. The F button and the T button. What do they do? Okay, F launches imagination while T launches Sherlock talent. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. Maybe. Okay, I'm just gonna... He's done it a few times in the game already, so... I don't know why the game does that. Is it maybe because... Well... Um, it, I can't get off the game to look at other, to open other, mess with other stuff, remember? I wanna, maybe it's because it's an old game just compared to others or something? Which is weird because I think it can't, I don't know. Now I'm gonna have to put the game in like, um border mode at one point. Hold, oh, I could probably do that now actually. Never mind, I can't. I'll do it. I'll have to do it at a later time. Oh, wait. Hold on. I could put it in all I can put it in English, simplified Chinese, German, Spanish, French, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Polish, Russian, Czech. Turkish and Ukrainian. What is that from? That's from a uh, Sherlock Holmes. I wonder if going, I can go. I wonder if going to Baker Street will help anything. Let's see if going back to the main house will do something. Uh, hello, Watson. Good gracious, you caught someone. At least now you have a suspect. Okay. But I imagine something here. I guess not. Brave Toby. The best nose in the British Empire. Oh, he has a dog named Toby. He has a good little puppers. Can I go back to my bedroom? Here we go. I want to change my hat again. Uh, casual suit. Oh, I can change the suit too. That's good. Brown suit. Green suit. Gray suit. Light suit. Bandit outfit. What? Oh, cool. Farmer outfit. Morning gown, sailor outfit, unbuttoned suit, casual suit. I'm going for black suit. Now let's get rid of the hat. Or not get rid of it, but change it. I can't use that kind of hat. Okay, that's fine. I like the hair. I really do. I wish I had a chest like the ones you see in typically seen like British games or something. We're out to Scotland Yard.
foot. One. At your service, yep. Mr. Holmes. Radical. When I get that game downloaded. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Locked. I don't need to go down to the morgue. At least not at least I don't think so. These are the suspect's belongings. What am I doing here? I've done nothing. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh, I need to, I can put clothes together. I feel silly. I don't have enough clues.
Proganigant, Proganigant. Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes. What am I doing here? I've done nothing. <sighs> Hello. Okay, there we go. I have returned. I got I got myself a cookies a cookies and cream bunny rabbit. How about bunny bunny Oh, I found something. I found footprints. These boots don't match the 
the footprints. These footprints appear to be quite large. Okay. I found something! Finally, I found something! I found something... Finally! doing here I've done nothing wrong locked these are the suspects belongings Uh what? 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 Why's the body gone? The body's gone, but I think it's I think it's intentional. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. I need to find another pair of boots. It seems that the garden was well maintained. What does milk? Hold no. Oh. Why soy? Why not whole milk? Whole milk is delicious.
Time to go back to Vegas. Good gracious, you caught someone. At least. Why is this one I see? This is where I keep my post. My archive. I can always convince it if needed. Oh, come on. Okay. Locked. I could not find any more boots. On where is I cannot find any bears of boots or shoes. I need the evidence for the footprints.
Go back, going back to the Scotland Yard again. At your service, Mr. Holmes. These are the suspect's belongings. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter. These abbreviations. These abbreviations. To my friend, Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Finally, I found something helpful. Ah. Oh. Finally, I found something. It was all on a ring this whole freaking time. I had to read the inscri- I had to man- I had to manually click on different parts of the in in inscription of a ring. To find it. Here it is. Now I begin to understand that young man's story. But I am still unclear as to what connects him with the murder. It is time to ask him. My archive. I can always cons... Back to Scotland Yard. I finally found some evidence or just some info on the kid. On the die. I have heard the story of Dawson and Nelligan, the West Country bankers. Yes, Joshua Nelligan was my father. I am aware that it had a bad ending. When the bank failed, it ruined half the families of Cornwall, whereupon Joshua Nelligan disappeared. My father was under extraordinary pressure. Dawson had retired. I was only ten years of age at the time, but it was still old enough to feel the shame that befell our family. My father was convinced that he could pay off all his debts if the creditors gave him time. He set sail for Hammerfest in Norway in his small oh. yacht just a few days before an arrest warrant was issued. He left my mother a list of the securities he was taking. No word was ever heard from him again. We believe that his vessel went down, taking with it everyone and everything on board. Thank you for the story, Mr. Nelligan. At last, we are making some progress. I've been here this whole time. Uh, every so often, but I'm more questioning that I'm finding stuff, or just happy that I'm finding stuff. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine.
Shoot! So, Mr. Nelligan, yes, it the just it doesn't cut. The ring. It doesn't stop me the from doing it. Is mine. It restarts it. No, Mr. Nelligan, I believe that the ring had belonged to your father. Oh, but but, but how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Furthermore, the garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else, most probably your father. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. Hello? I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It, it all happened exactly as you say. Interesting. Joshua Nelligan and Peter Carey were both at sea in Norway. There is definitely some connection between Peter Carey and Joshua Nelligan's disappearance. I don't have a. These are the suspect's belongings. I don't have a what? Yeah. My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. My archive. Good gracious. What about a camper? Three. That's the one I need. Right. This is the crew list of the Sea Unicorn. Wait, hold on. Log notes for June. Nothing unusual. This is the crew list of the CU. Yeah, that's it. Log notes for July. Log notes for August. These pages have been torn away. Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR, a torn piece from a bond certificate. I have seen what are you this talking abbreviation about? somewhere very recently. There are three ways of discovering what happened in August of 1883 aboard the Sea Unicorn. The first two of these will require speaking with a dead man. The last would be to locate vital witnesses the sailors involved in this whale hunt campaign.
Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. On to the next thing. Something new, Watson. I have the list of sailors who were aboard the Sea Unicorn. We shall soon learn what happened to Nelligan's father. I have only to find them. Let us hope they are still working at the harbor. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard... I doubt it, Watson. And really, I would prefer that all of this remains quiet for now. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. And who might they be? The secret police division of Baker Street. Ah, you mean young Wiggins and his gang? Yes. Ooh. Believe me, you'll receive more useful assistance from these little Wiggins? urchins is, is there... from a dozen yard detectives. Who's Wiggins, I wonder? Those children are everywhere. They see and hear everything, and they are cunning. All they lack is organization. I'll summon them. How will you do that? There is always a watch beneath our window. I have only to call him. Why do I have this stinking? Why can't I move this my, this stupid telescope? Why is it just staring at a fat lady? I don't. Why do I? Just, why is it just staring at a fat lady? Does does Sherlock Holmes have have a thing for fat ladies? My analysis table. It is useful. Is it something that's true? My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. I'm playing a game called Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments, and there's a telescope in the middle of the or uh, by the window. And it's just pointing at this one, this one, um, this one, um, fat, this one fat woman. Or big bones, I guess. Ah, darn it. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? Good night. I'm playing a Sherlock Holmes game. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, huh? I need you to track down certain. No, it's all alone. Me. I can't. I, I am talking you to someone else. Read, I have Discord you? open. I Big can't. Oliver um. Gang. He can, as his father is the coachman of a famous lawyer. Fascinating. Here is the list of sailors. Sailors? Easy. Just got to look where the rum and the red lights are. Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Holmes, but the inspector asks that you come to the station as soon as possible. Uh, thank you. I'll be there shortly. Is there really is is there really something on Sherlock Holmes liking fat women or um, big women? Gracious, you caught someone. Bob the Builder. Bib the Balder. It's Bib the Balder. It's Biff the Bald. Cutscene time. Mr. Holmes, I'm glad to see you. As always, what happened? We have a new suspect, Liam Hurtley. I'm thinking that this case will be resolved very quickly now. Interesting. Great tell. Well, 
The constable that I left at Woodman's Lee noticed a suspicious individual prowling around during the night. Do you have him here? Yes. He refuses to speak with us, but we'll make him talk. Let us hope so. Ah, oh, yes, and one more thing. The constable told me that at the time of his arrest, the fellow was writing a letter. Hmm. Do you have it? Of course. It's in the evidence room. At your disposal. Admit that for once, Mr. Holmes, Scotland Yard is a step ahead of you, right? Mm, breathtaking. No. Why were you guys? Why did you guys? Why were you guys talking about uh, someone coming Please out? Please escort closet? this suspect for interrogation. Is he? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I would like to ask you a is few he actually, questions. Is he I've actually gay? I've told the police that I'm oh, nothing to okay. say, and you're not even part of the police. Precisely, and considering your situation, it might be wise to speak with someone who is, shall we say, rather more neutral. You are a suspect in a murder case. I know. Inspector Lestrade told me. It's ridiculous. Could you at least tell me who you are, and exactly what happened that you should be brought here? My name is Liam Hurtley. That I can tell you, but you're not getting any more than that. Well, we shall see. Time to check a guy out. Wait, gardener's hands? Oh, That's is this guy a gardener now. at one point? Where's the young man? Oh, there he is. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Iron Man? How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea who the murderer is yet? Let's yes, finally get to see some boots. Time to Liam Hurtley's old boots. They're a size nine and a half. The stains are fresh. And they can be removed with the proper chemicals. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. are the suspect's belongings. What are you guys playing? What am I doing here? Time to go back to Woodman Lee. How does, um, uh, Robert Downey Jr. sound as, um, Sherlock? I mean, like, compared to 
character is normally. These boots match the foot. Yes. Exactly. Yes, uh, Sherlock Holmes is English. I mean, like, how does he sound specifically compared to others? I guess. Okay, that's fine. That's proving that he's there. Judith Carey denies that he was their gardener. Okay, let's go talk to Judith Carey. Thank you. Liam Hurtley. Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you, madam. Dang it. Kage Kame Gage Ha. Kamea Mea Mea Potato. Who else is here? This is where I keep. A new suspect, but this one refused. He populates the world full of potatoes with mashed potatoes. Who all is in the Discord right now? Okay, because I can't look. The game won't let me go to it, won't let me do anything of that sort. Yeah, I don't really know why it's doing it. Belongings. A pen. Nothing unusual about it. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? Hasn't... I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Because you Gun? are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> a crested all right, tit. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's have you ever heard? Now. Have you ever heard of a a a, a um, crested tit cyborg? Have you ever heard of a crested tit cyborg?
It seems that the garden was well maintained. Who could do such a thing? My poor husband. Do 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 How is the investigation going, Mr. Rhodes? Do 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 Harry Potter. There we go. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. Now I can proceed further. Oh, that was easy. Let us see if the content of this letter sheds a little light upon the mystery. I did as you asked and hid them well. Interesting. How would Hurtley react to this? Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Okay.
So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. <clears throat> That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads. But now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. They're dancing with their nose on the floor where their butt was once sat. I don't know. Sounds like something from an old, uh, from a little, from a cartoon source. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. You are very a Thank you, madam. Let's see what could be hidden here. Ah, the wooden box. Let us see what is in this box. What do I do with this? What? Well, how do I do this? I have no idea how to do this puzzle. Yes, I got it. A bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting. Oh. So Judith, Judith, Judith Carey was cheating on her husband for his death.
Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I, I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him. Not after what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Well, I'm going to be getting off Liam, soon myself. Liam, how could he? I, off the stream as well. What he has done. I am not going to you do another restream for a little while. No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Just got two more another option for this armless flirting or desperate jealousy. Should I should I make it I wonder should it be hurtless harmless, harmless flirting or desperate jealousy? I don't know which one I want to do. What do you think I should do, Jack? Should I, do you think, uh, okay. Um, a man by the name, a man by, named Peter Carey died and it's been revealed that the gardener of Peter Carey and his wife was um, together in a sense with the, with the wife. But do you think it's harmless flirting or desperate jealousy? Do you think, um, the Liam Hurtley who um, loved Judith um, was jealous enough to commit a murder or was it just flirting and no and with harmless litter and words what do you think that For now, I'll go with that for now. I can change it as, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, okay, just gave me another option. Desperate jealousy awoke, my brought up two new things. Liam, my heart, okay. There's two things, Hartley's motive or Hartley's innocence. Liam Hartley's relationship with Judith Carey gives him a mode for killing Peter Carey. His presence at Woodman Woodman's Lee on the night of the murder is explained by his affection toward Judith Carey and the fact that he worked there as a gardener. Does is it does it give him a motive or is he innocent? I think you said earlier. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so... I 
I think he might be, actually be the man behind. Hold on. Okay. So far, it seems like he is the one who did it. Because when I put in the option of desperate jealousy and then Hartley's motive and lucky throw. Hold on. What about this one? Oh, okay. And lucky throw. It immediately gives me Hartley as guilty. But if I do the other two, it doesn't give me that. I'm going to continue the investigation before I do anything else. I don't want to convict him just yet. Apparently there's a little more, there might be more to it. Leave me alone, please. So I'm just going to wait on that. I think I've played a game that, I think, um, there is a game based on the Cthulhu, based on the Call of Cthulhu, or no, no, no. Actually, no, 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 not Call of Cthulhu. It was, um, Sinking City. They did something like this. I think it was probably, uh, it could have been based on this, or it could have been something else. It seems that. Because I still have some use for a few things. A piece of stock exchange certificate belonging to this Canadian Pacific Railway. Oh, and there's also another thing Wiggins. Um, someone that we know apparently has some more info, so we might. There might be a bit more to it. There might be a bit more to it because there was also uh, there's two suspects Oz, right now. We found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. And we're about to find out what happened to the. Yeah, one suspect. Well, possibly because the other suspect's um, father uh, went missing around the same time. Um, the uni the sea unicorn, which was the ship that um, uh, Mr. Carey, not not Jim Carey, obviously, but um, forgot his name, but yeah, Carey wound up um, being on or something at one point. Okay, let's. This is interesting. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This man is a harpooner, and his initials are PC. The same Ooh. initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Oh, okay, so... Wiggins, could Wait. you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. So, Carrie has a... or had a tobacco we pouch. We found Patrick Cairns. But Good it job, had the Wiggins. wrong, it Where didn't have he? his initials on it. He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch Pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir. Um, do you know anything about guineas? Uh, apparently that's a type of coin or something, money in the 1800s. Okay. Here's some more de new, a new detail. Okay, I gotta go check on Patrick Carnes. If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Yeah, you get to dress up as a, seal a sailor today. Let's see, what does that look like? Hey! Yes, we're gonna be a sailor. Do I have any sailor hats, maybe? Yeah, I can wear any hat I want now, if I want to. It wouldn't let me at first. Mainly because I guess it wasn't important to have different costumes just yet. I'm 
give myself some good old facial hair. Finally. Not many connecting though. That'll work. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Oh no. Let's see, where's this Karen's dude, wherever his name is? There you are. Oh, why can't Hello I have there. that kind of beard? Are you Karen's? Okay. What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. Of course you I switch like accents in game. So I'm up Sherlock for switches it. accents. I start at 10 shillings. Suits me. Are we having a drinking contest? Oh, yes we are. Oh, no, no, uh, no, 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 sorry. Um, arm wrestling. Follow Patrick.
Come on, I almost got him. That one. I you were lucky. It. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. I skipped the battle. I, I mean, I skipped the. I skipped actually doing the arm wrestling. I wasn't very good at it. IRL maybe, but I didn't. I didn't really under. I didn't really understand. Oh, this guy might be the one who killed Carrie. I might be have to rethink my whole um um week um week uh not week thing. Something else, I can't remember. Oh yeah, week. I've had enough. You're too strong. Come back later when you can use your arms again. <laughs> He's a strong. <laughs> Come back later when you can use your arms again. <laughs> to try again. Yes, I got it. Mm. 
Almost did. I'm trying to do this one thing before I go to bed. What? You do it, Sherlock. Adios. Good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner? Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, a violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. He was a tyrant and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. A 
But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn. And I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage is just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night. Two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. And those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Back in a second. I'm off to the Kazi. I'll be here with my drink. Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? I've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, um... Oh, it is! Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe. If you like, I... I'm done here. It's time to leave. Right.
going back to Baker Street and get it. I like the beer, but this is not a pure lot. Well, not as normal. Lot. Oh, wow. I've already changed. It's my Scotland's yard. Oh, I'm already... <laughs> Still in the outfit. Okay. in here first and then what am I doing here I've done nothing wrong I'm not saying another word How is the investigation going, Mr. Holmes? Do you have any idea? Wrong person. Leave me alone, please. My analysis table, it is useful for my work. My archive, I can always consult with it if needed. You met Patrick Cairns, the harpooner. Do you believe he's the murderer?
This place is not covered. An object was taken from here. It was locked. These are the suspect's belongings. I wonder if these are connected. Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however. I'm not saying... Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, what exactly were you hoping to find inside Peter Carey's cabin? I... I, I was trying to find some information about my father. I assume you had another purpose, to retrieve the bond certificates. Am I correct? Yes. I discovered some time ago that a few of the missing securities had reappeared on the London market. You can imagine my amazement. I spent months trying to find them, and at last I discovered that the original seller had been Captain Peter Carey. These papers, they belong to my family, but I could not find them there. That's all for now. Well, I will see you soon, young man. These are the suspect's belongings. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Alright guys, I'm going to 
game here. We can decide who the killer is next time. Always save the game. These are the suspect's belongings. Okay, see. So You all have a wonderful day. Walking.